we're getting the aircon degassed. And if you want to know where the connections are, they're at the back. I don't need to anymore. He's got his compressor set up to take out the gas. Uh, he holds about two kilos in it, he reckons. Good morning, everyone. Well, welcome to another day of our Razor bus build. I had a couple of days off to recover from getting the platform out. So that was a, a challenging job, but I'm glad it's done. So today I'm going to work on getting the air conditioner unit out above the top of the back door and if I get a chance I'm going to try and start pulling out all the um, pipes that go to the air conditioning and then I'm going to look at getting the, the fan system side of it out on the left hand side or the right hand side of the bus. So to get this air conditioner out looks like we've got nuts here we have to undo another set just there those vents can stay in by the looks of it there are some nuts if I want to get them off there's all this pipe work that we have to disconnect so this connection here you needed a three quarter inch uh, spanner and then we've got another big one here, just here. I'm going to have to go and see if I've got an adjustable wrench. I can't remember whether I do or not. Otherwise I'm going to have to buy one. Uh, I've got all the wiring disconnected. So that's good. So once I get this one off, I can then undo the bolts. I think I've got everything else off and get it down. This connection here. I had to use two sockets, used a 19mm and a 3 quarter and it was the bottom one down there that undid. Those uh, bolts that have got to come out are a number or a 10mm socket. A little bit tight to get in but if you push it apart it'll get in. And then Got a bit of pipe work here to undo, which is the drainage pipe, which we'll pull out. And then at the back, we've got this bracket and that bracket to get out. The bolts that came out from the back and also from here, they were a 12 mil socket or spanner to get them out. Okay, we could get the head unit out at the back. It was, it was all right, I could carry it, but it was awkward, so my wife came out and helped me, so we got it out, which was good. This pole here, I could undo at the end, but I could not budge it down there, so I've had to leave that on to get it out. And if we go inside the bus now, and we have a look, we have that extra space now without the unit there, the head unit, so it's gone, no more banging heads, um, so that's good. Now we've got to start on this part of the air conditioner, down here, get that out, and then there's two compressors in the engine that I've got to get out. We need to take these screws out and I'm using a 150mm number 3 um, Phillips head screwdriver to get them out.
So there's one bolt, two bolts holding it up from here to underneath. And I would say that there'll be two bolts under here, which I don't know whether I'll be able to see or not. Yeah, there's two bolts under there. I can feel them. I can't um, show you on the video for them. So, but there is another two bolts, and it looks like it's the same 12 mil socket. So I'll get stuck in and undo them. Okay, today has been a frustrating morning. Uh, I have been able to get the uh, bus started, which was good, thanks to all those people that uh, suggested it was a battery, and lucky enough I had a battery charger hidden away somewhere in the garage, which I've charged the batteries up last night, and it's been able to start, as you can hear it in the background, running to keep it charging. The next issue I had is I've got no jacks to lift up the car, or the bus. So I had to try and get it up, I'll just turn around, to get the part of the air conditioner unit out. It wouldn't come out. So it was stuck between that rib there and the ground, this, this here and the ground. It wouldn't, the height wouldn't come under it. So I've had, I got some bricks and put them up at the grass was soggy from the rain and I couldn't get it up high enough to get it out so I was getting really frustrated anyway my wife came out and she goes how about you move this piece of there which was under here which nearly got it all the way out and then I had I think it was Adam sorry Andy that told me to take the fans off it so I've taken the fans off this and was able to get it out finally so after a lot of uh, painful um, frustrating minutes I've been able to get it off so which is good so I'm happy about that now I've got to try and concentrate on getting the compressors out as I said I'm not mechanically minded so all this is new to me um, I've got my nephew going to bring around his trolley jack and some car jacks so I can or some bus jack so I can put it up on the front to take the wheels off to get to the compressor so hopefully that will fix that issue so that's a job during the week now I'll just try and get the the actual pipes that run to the air compressor out of the van so nothing goes smoothly in bus builds so don't expect it to uh, this is just one of the other problems I've had but we are getting there all right so now i'm working on the rest of the air conditioning pipes that are in the back of the bus here so just here we've got this big long one running all the way down the back we've still got a little bit of of the small pipe to go which will go we've got to cut that little bit of plywood out and get the this part out here so demolition's nearly done besides the front section the seats and under that but other than that the demolition is getting close to being finished uh, just one last thing it's been a little bit since I've done the air conditioner um, I just wanted to let you know that I've got one of the compressors out from the engine and I'm working my way to try to get the second one out the bolts are in such an awkward position to get to and the, all the connection lines coming in are really awkward 
If you don't have to remove these, I would suggest you don't. Uh, if you're looking to sell them, well, you're going to have to do it. So it's just a little bit tight to get into. Um, I'll work on it again tomorrow, but hopefully I should be able to get it out tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Anyway, we hope you're enjoying these uh, videos. I'm enjoying bringing them to you. Uh, we're getting to the point where we can start to install stuff now, so that's pretty exciting. Looking forward to doing that. Hey guys, if you've got any tips or tricks that you want to share with us, uh, please comment. That'd be great. Also, just it'd be great if you like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Uh, just keeps us motivated. Thanks guys. We hope you have a good weekend. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.